Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Um, it's weird how these things happen. Um, sitting down, getting ready to do a show about Robin Trower and my favorite guitar solos of his, and I read the news that uh, we lost Ken Hensley. Of course, um, iconic Hammond organ player, keyboard player, guitarist, vocalist, songwriter from Uriah Heep. Um, one of my favorite bands of all time, and uh, wow, where did this just came out of nowhere? Uh, Kenneth William David Hensley, born August twenty fourth, nineteen forty five. Uh, he leaves us on November fourth, twenty twenty. I still don't have all the information on uh, what happened here. Um, Seventy five years old. Okay, so uh, you know, still still a youngish guy, and um, still has been fairly active in music over the years. Uh, this is a big loss. I mean, um, <clears throat> this is two legendary Uriah Heap members we've lost uh, in the same year, and that's that's tough. Fairly close to each other. We just lost Lee Kerslake not long ago. Um, you know, <laughs> God, what to say about Ken Hensley? I mean, uh, those Hammond organ tones on all those early Uriah Heap albums, the great lead and backing vocals. I mean, um, Jesus. You know, I, I, I think of Ken Hensley, and I think the Gypsy. Uh, man, just phew. so many great songs. Hey, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't even prepare for this. Uh, this is j totally impromptu as it gets. Um, very heavy, very humble. Salisbury. Demons and Wizards. Magician's Birthday. All those great songs. Uh, and you know, not he wasn't just a keyboard player. The guy was a really good vocalist as well. And it's funny if you listen to any of his great solo albums, and uh, we'll talk about him here in a minute. But a uh, really good singer, and kind of you know, if you listen to him next to like David Byron, the original singer of Uriah Heep, their voices were kind of similar. Um, maybe Ken's was a slightly more melodic, and he went less for the kind of like upper register stuff. Uh, also, a very talented guitar player, played a great acoustic guitar, great slide player. You know, Mick Box was the big guitarist in the band, but uh, Ken also contributed a lot of really tasty guitar work throughout the years. Um, you know, so Ken, going back, I mean, he played with the gods, right, 1965 to 69. Uh, briefly, also Head Machine. He played with a lot of kind of cool, like, Undergroundish bands that we've talked about here on the channel a lot, like before Uriah Heep uh, became big. So the Gods, Head Machine, Toe Fat, more of like a bluesy hard rock band, Weed, okay, and then you know of course in, in uh, Heap, all those great albums, ten years worth of really really fine albums uh, under his belt, uh, a lot of really great solo albums, right? And then you know he of course he joined uh, Blackfoot for a couple of years in a couple of albums. He joined Wasp. Right? He played a little Hammond organ with Cinderella. Um, and, and those solo albums. I mean, Proud Words on the Dusty Shelf is a wonderful, wonderful album. Eager to Please, Free Spirit, you know, some really good stuff. And then in more recent years, I mean, he's done some kick-ass um, stuff with his, you know, more recent solo band. of Very vintage-sounding, you know, Ken Hensley slash Uriah Heep. Um, but, wow, man, what a loss. What a loss. This is like, um, uh, yeah, I, <clears throat> I haven't even had a chance to digest this, uh, to be honest with you. This is just crazy. Um, and such an important member of that band. You know, Uriah Heep was, whether you loved him or not, <clears throat> at the, you know, they were a very impactful band, a very influential band that had some sensational members at the core of that, that classic lineup. You know, Ken Hensley. Hammond organ and various keyboards, vocals, all right, occasional guitar, Mick Box on guitar, okay, David Byron on vocals, Gary Thane on bass, Lee Kearslake on drums. I mean, that was, in essence, one of the strongest lineups, uh, you know, in hard rock history. Such a great, great band that released so many great albums. And it's it just, when you look at I was just on Ken's Wikipedia page and looking at... Uh, all of his accomplishments, all the albums he's appeared on, it's just, it's mind-boggling. I mean, the guy was one of the most respected musicians out there and has meant so much to music for, you know, over 50 years. It's just, uh, like, 
I mean, that's like what's happening this year. That's, that's what happens. It's happening in recent years. It's like all of these well-respected musicians that we love, that a lot of us grew up with, um, they're just in a blink of an eye, they're gone. And now all you have left is the music. And the music's always going to be there. Um, wow. Yeah, I just, I'm like kind of speechless. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, Ken is one of like my musical heroes. And it's like, you know, yeah, I play guitar and I generally, you know, lean towards guitarists that I really follow and, you know, they become my heroes and all that kind of stuff. But there's like when John Lord passed away, I was gutted. Okay, because I love, you know, these really big, larger than life keyboard players and especially Hammond organ players. And Ken uh, was one of those guys for me. John Lord and, and Ken and when Emerson died, I mean, it's just these these guys are legends on their instruments, legends in the music business. And uh, it's a void that just can't be filled. Can't be filled. So, uh, man, <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to be listening to a lot of Uriah Heep and Ken Hensley solo stuff today. Wow. <sighs> Tough loss. Tough loss. This this is a, This is a monster. Monster, monster, monster musician. So important, so talented, and I never had a chance to speak to him or meet him. But from what I understand, a really, really nice guy as well. So uh, Ken Hensley, may he rest in peace. Uh, gone from this world way too soon. Age seventy-five, November fourth, twenty twenty. It's a tough one, folks. It's a tough one. So please go and celebrate the life and the music of Ken Hensley today and for the rest of the week and. Uh, we're going to miss you. He's up there jamming with Lee right now, and David, and Gary. Man, we've only got... Uh, Mick is left. That's kind of... Uh, that's kind of scary. <clears throat> that's kind of crazy. Wow. Ken Hensley, we'll miss you. We love you. Rest in peace, my friend. Um, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.